Hi everyone, this is Karen and today we're going to talk acetone. How many of you use acetone to remove your polish? Okay, I can't see you raising your hands, but um, I trust a lot of you do. How many of you use some kind of acetone additive product um, to help soften or minimize some of the effects of acetone, 100% acetone. You guys all know that it is brutal on your skin. It is so drying and it leaves this disgusting white residue all over your skin. It is gross. Anyway, I want to tell you though that acetone additives are great for your a skin health etc etc a lot of people love them they're so 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 popular anyway I have used them um, they are good they certainly help but a lot of times I did not like the way my skin fingers felt after I used them um, I am K nails my own brand of polish and um, assorted products I have developed an alternative to acetone additive and I call it an acetone conditioner and it's called acicoco and this is um, I have to say I'm pretty proud of this product uh, this is what it looks like this is a one ounce uh, cup of acetone conditioner and you melt this in your microwave or if you're in a hot climate you can just leave it out in the Sun and it will melt all by yourself and you add it to an 8 ounce bottle up to 8 ounce bottle or more or less whatever you happen to like uh, of 100% acetone we're gonna give this a show-and-tell though so here I've got 100% acetone this is in a recycled pump bottle and then I have here 100% acetone with my acicoco in it this is an 8 ounce bottle it has enough room to put the acetone in it 8 ounces and then the acicoco on top which is a fluid ounce as well when it's melted so we're going to give this a roll I wanted to take off my polish which you saw me do the other day in a video and uh, yeah let's roll so I've got some nice cotton rounds here uh, these are my favorite uh, <clears throat> but what I like about them is that even though this is detached it's got a, a texture layer which uh, really helps a little bit with the scrubbing action so anyway let's get rolling on this I'm going to use the uh, acetone first so when I'm move, uh, removing polish, I like to give this, uh, you know, two, three pumps on this and I, I lay it on my nail <clears throat> to let it start giving some oomph to the removal product uh, process. So, or you can see, look at what's doing to my nail, or my finger, <laughs> oh God, oh, that's ugly. All right. Give it some scrubbing. What have I got on here? I've got two coats of this was two coats of a coat of polish. Um, I had uh, stamping and I had oil base top coat, and then I put another top coat over that later on. Well, it had a lot of coats of polish but you can see around here that is the acetone residue so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my acicoco blended acetone so I gave it a fair squirt fair amount of squirt and I'm going to do this one I got Look at that. Ugh. So we're we're doing the same thing now that we did um, with the 100% acetone. Let it soak a little bit. Get 
a little work now. Now, one of the things that's nice about this is that this has, um, particular one has lemon essential oil, which I put in mostly all of them. So far, all of them I put in. I shouldn't say mostly at all, but I put that in my acid cocoa. Ooh, dirty. All right, so I put this in my lemon essential oil. You see the difference? And you see the, the residue is not there anymore. And more importantly, my skin does not feel like junk. It doesn't feel like I have a film on it or anything. So I've, I've still got some on here. We're just gonna go ahead and do this now. Um, so this has lemon essential oils in it. Um, I've made some that have a hint of pineapple in it. Gives you a real tropical vibe. Um, you know, lavender sometimes. I love the combination of lavender and lemon. Um, but anyway, after you're done removing your polish, the lemon lingers. It smells really good. And I don't feel like rushing off to remove um, the acetone from my skin so I don't have to go and wash my nails immediately. Look at this. Big difference. My nails are by nature dry and I'm a picker to begin with. So um, please forgive me for that. But you know, this is good for me. All right, so we're gonna remove this one too. Now I could do And last but not least, the thumb. A lot of polish on that thumb. There we go. No, you can see the difference. Acetone, acid cocoa. Now the other uh, positive thing is um, a lemon is a natural brightener, so it will help your nails. So let's tell you a little bit more about this in case you're interested, because I think I'll have some questions. Um, IMK Nails is selling this nice little cup of um, acetone conditioner for $1.50. That's it. And I don't know about you, but eight ounce bottle of acetone will last me for quite a while. I mean, us nail polish addicts go through it a lot, but in between time, I'm using peel off base coat. But sometimes I don't want to use a peel off base coat and I'm using straight up polishes. Anyway, base coat always. That's it, that's me. Um, maybe you'll try it, uh, but I just wanted to share that with you tips and tricks, you know. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and uh, like, like it. That's down here. That's giving me a thumbs up, people. If you aren't already subscribed, subscribe, please. Follow me and that's over here down below and um, share it with your friends. Tell them all about my channel. I'm trying to get my viewership back up with views. Uh, so that I can hopefully get my monetization back. Um, I'm unemployed, so this is what I'm doing with my time right now. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye!